Good morning. It is April 29th and the wind is cooking. It's uh, blowing straight at about 18 to 20 and then we're getting 25, 27 mile an hour gusts. We got 500 back here. On 25 foot pole. Wow! Yeah, she's she's steaming. And 800 is over there. I don't know if I've heard it make that sound yet. 800 is on a 35 foot pole. Both of these tails have been modified to suit my location. I've got obstructions everywhere and I'm just just barely over sea level so real low altitude. The real productive wind is about 60 feet up yet above my turbines. Come on, focus. So, I added a uh, 2 by 12 piece of 18 gauge steel with the little cross section to help keep this guy straight, but it gets a lot of wind rolling off of that tree and then it furls it out. Um, the big guy over here has got a little bit different design on the tail. I went kind of crazy with this one because I, I really really wanted to see big power out of it and now I finally do. It's finally properly adapted to my conditions. is also two foot tall and the bottom corners and top corners are 18 inches apart. And we got a 900 millimeter five blade set. Properly, centrifugally balanced, not statically balanced. Statically balanced doesn't work. You can, you can statically balance these blades all you want. You throw them up in the air, wait for them to spin, go grab the bottom of your tower, and you're going to feel that thing rocking back and forth, vibrating every single revolution, and that just beats up your bearings, and it robs power from your turbine. Um, this turbine went from never seeing higher than 502 watts and it saw 30 mile an hour wind. Uh, now I've seen it go over 950 watts a bunch of times. Uh, it's already uh, peaked my batteries today. It went up to 920 earlier and it kicked on the dump load controller which I finally had a necessity to install. Um, I've had the thing sitting on my workbench for a year and until I really had a necessity for it. I didn't I didn't install it but uh, I overheated the batteries a couple days ago. We went up to 32. Um, fortunately it was only for a second but I the dump load controller and I added a pair of 
batteries I had laying around because I don't yet have a dump load set up. I will eventually install a secondary water heater with DC elements so I can draw off the primary bank when the voltage climbs too high. Um, so the solenoid activates and it draws power into the auxiliary batteries and that will keep these guys from going over 30 volts uh, a couple of days ago before I installed the dump load controller it did uh, spike up to 32 for only for a moment but if it lasted much longer than that it could be a dangerous scenario you could foam the batteries they start to gas and you know you just don't want that it can damage the batteries and that's too much money to just throw away so uh, focus come on the 500 as we could see outside having a real hard time staying in the breeze but it is accumulating something when it catches a breeze it spins up good uh, what did we jump up to 286 I reset the meters yesterday before the wind started blowing and this one jumped up to 917 we can watch it for just a moment here and right now it's probably about a 15 maybe 18 mile an hour breeze and it'll gust soon enough here of course now I got the camera on it it's gonna it's gonna make me wait for it Gust 455 7 720 Well, that's that's usable productive power. This is actually charging the batteries. Um, last night as I was watching Star Trek, the batteries were down to 24.0 and that was at 9 o'clock at night so obviously there wasn't any solar being made. Currently, solar is making 90 watts and 3.6 amps not a whole lot the house is using 212 watts 8 amps and yet voltage is climbing so um, when I reset yesterday, this was uh, the, the kilowatt meter was at 29. So since about uh, dinner time yesterday, we've made almost four kilowatt hours. This meter is the combined output from both turbines. They come up, come up through the shunt, and this reads current moving through the shunt so the two of them are making 500 watts <coughs> and then here is our dump load controller this one came from Thermodyne it is the mechanical solenoid uh, not the solid state that comes with the newer model same controller uh, I programmed this one 
to activate at 29.2 and if the wind keeps going we might even see it activate. Oh, that was climbing pretty fast there. Wow. But what that does is we're connected to bus bars, positive line. When that activates, it draws current through that down to this series of batteries, and that draws current away um, to prevent overcharging because that's finally uh, something I have to be concerned about and this is more for when I'm away from home uh, up north because when I'm home you know I can come use this system which I built in uh, originally this is John Daniels design it's the fly and brake design so you flip the switch up and it reroutes the three phase from the turbines through three resistors back to the fuses and to the rectifiers um, in the downward position it just goes straight through the fuses straight to the rectifier so it's getting full power um, we can demonstrate it with this one so I'll flip the switch up and instantly it kicks output down drastically and then I'll flip her back down see that pretty cool huh and instead of using a wind brake in violent winds or um, if your batteries are starting to overfill you use the fly and brake system and with your resistors you set up your resistors for about two-thirds of rated power so it's an 800 watt turbine I've got three 200 watt resistors 600 watts of resistance on the 500 I've got three 100s 300 watts of resistance on the 500 watt turbine um, and that will instead of grounding out the stator and trying to stop it uh, the resistors slow it down and they start to heat up instead of heating up the stator and burning your stator out that will destroy a turbine um, if you try to break in wind so not only does this protect your batteries hey look at that we just engaged And it should disconnect at 7.27.2. And it just disconnected. So that's that's what just happened there. You heard it click. It routed power down to the batteries, drew the voltage away, and brought it back down to safe voltage, safe float voltage. Um, it looks like it might be trying to climb up again. She's making real steady, good power here. And again, yeah, these are Chinese turbines. Um, and if you are in a high altitude or, you know, flat ground with not a lot of obstructions, you can take this thing out of the box and it's going to do what it's supposed to do right out of the box. Um, that doesn't work for me because I'm low altitude and I have obstructions everywhere. So I had to adapt my hardware to fit its function. Um, a lot of people put these things in the air and never see power out of them and piss and moan to uh, the manufacturers, oh my my turbine doesn't work, my turbine doesn't work, oh maybe I should buy a bigger more expensive one, no that's not the answer, no you have to adapt it 
to your location. The wind blows different at my house than it does your house as, you know, close as your neighbor's house it will blow different. The wind, uh, these turbines are about 150 meters apart. Um, it blows different here, it blows different here. Yeesh. This keeps kicking the power. So you gotta, you gotta watch them. <clears throat> you gotta watch what they do in north wind, in south wind, in east wind, and so on, and see how they behave. And you can look around at your trees and get an idea of how the wind could be rolling off of them and affecting how it's hitting your turbine. Um, I ended up trimming that big pine tree a little bit to let a little bit more wind get through to the 500 and you know with the addition of those tails and properly balancing the blades um, and not only did I add the larger tails but I moved them further back um, and it just gives the tail more torque to keep the turbine pointed straight but you know there they are Chinese turbines making power here it goes over six again Well, if I held this here long enough, we'd see eight, nine hundred watts. Uh, this very same turbine on John Daniel's roof uh, hit 1,283 watts. This one on John Daniel's roof hit uh, over 700. I forget the exact number, but he's high altitude and he's got straight line winds. He didn't have to modify the tails, he just took them out of the box and threw them in the air, and they chucked power. Um, oh, there goes the dump load controller again. Now uh, we just saw 797, almost 800. Yeah, it's blowing pretty good out there. Well, that dump load's working good. That's, that's cool. I'm glad that's going to work out. So... There's the system with the new parts and batteries are happy so stay safe out there and thanks for watching take care we are essentially bouncing off the rev limiter here every time the wind gusts it's engaging slows back down it disengages here it's gonna go again I put a multimeter on these two batteries so these batteries are sitting at 23 so they're essentially uh, 11 and a half volts each we'll give it just a moment here and the solenoid will re-engage at the next gust You'll be able to see this climb, and as soon as it disengages, it'll fall back. But every time it engages, it's charging these just a little bit more. This was at 20 earlier, so they were both at about 10 each. <clears throat> so this is going to slowly recondition these batteries. These have been sitting in the shed for about two years. Fortunately, they're still accepting amperage. There it goes. And starts to pull power into these two. It's kicking enough power that it can't, uh, it won't disengage it until it gets below 27. There it goes. And re engages. Let's see what we're making. Oh yeah, 900 watts coming in. Yeah, we're we're making 
serious power today. Batteries are full. This is uh, this has never happened before. Very happy with the new modifications. Look at this. Just steady, steady juice. And it finally disconnected. So there you have it. Chinese turbines making too much power. Finally needed to hook up my dump controller. And it's working. And it's rehabbing these old used up batteries. So win, win, win. Thanks again for watching and take care.